Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. You are listening to Ricky and Vicky's English Chatterbox, who are hosting from different parts of our beautiful planet, Philippines and Russia. Ricky, a native speaker, and an English enthusiast, Vicky, are going to dispel your doubts about English. Make yourself comfortable. We're about to launch a rocket. Hello, hi guys. So today we're going to talk about modal verbs, right, Vicky? Yeah, the topic of our today's podcast is modal verbs. Oh, guys, um, you know, um, I was thinking about this question: Should we memorize the meaning of each modal verb? Because you know, Ricky, there are tons and tons of grammar books, and sometimes it's so confusing which one to use. Which is which? What to choose? What can you tell? Well,、um, for one, they're actually similar. Must, have, should, ought to, gotta,、um, in everyday language. But it differs when it comes to its、uh, formality. Hmm. It's so difficult to comprehend what you are pointing out. You know,、uh, let's take a look at some、uh, specific sentences. Yes,、uh, for example. Yes. I want to say,、uh, I must go, or、um, sometimes I want to say, I have to go, or I should go, I ought to go. I'm confused when I see a lot of modal verbs. What should I choose? I must go and I have to go. They're actually similar. But if you, you know, you are already in the context of work or in business, you may use more formal modals like shall or ought to, because must and have to would rather seem very strong. Yeah, I've heard about that. Modal verbs like must and have to. They are very strong. They can show us obligation, necessity, duty. That's right. And what about you know, when I watch movies or listen to some podcasts, native speakers love to say, "I gotta go, I gotta go." Wow, gotta go. What does it mean? Gotta go. Should we use it? Well, gotta spelled as G O T T A. It's just a contraction of、uh, got to, but when you say it faster, it sounds like gotta, and this is what we native speakers use to facilitate our pronunciation. So I gotta go, but it actually just means I have to go. Yeah. Ah, it means I have to go. So because gotta, if you Google、uh, or if you open any grammar book, you cannot see this word, right? It's a daily word. Yes,、uh, you're not gonna see that in formal academic texts. Rather, you'll see that in street speak books. I see. So from now on, when I write to someone, I'm not allowed to say "gotta." <laughs> It depends, Vicky.、Uh -huh. If you're writing to a friend. Ah, I see. Of、mm -hmm. course,、okay. you should not use. Gotta, if you're writing to somebody who is in authority. I keep that in mind, of course. And basic rules are enough, guys, to know how to use modal verbs. Ah,、uh, memorization is actually one of the keys if you're studying a new language. From there, it will be just a piece of cake. Later, it will you will know it by heart. Ah,、uh, in this context, say for example, I need to use. I'm sorry to my manager. I'm sorry, but、um, I I I I ought to go now, or I should go now. But you cannot say I gotta go now. <laughs> well, you can if you're close to your manager or what. Yes, this is the point. Yes. Ah,、uh, so guys, stop picking your brain. Yes. Modal verbs are easier than we believe them to be. That's correct, Vicky. We have just to understand who we are talking with, and yeah, use the proper one. That's it. A piece of cake.
Alright guys, we hope that you've learned something new today. Let us know if you'd like to straighten out other things that are bothering you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up because you're fantastic and amazing. Keep in touch, guys. Bye-bye. See you. <laughs> Till bye next bye. time. Bye-bye.